I do a lot of pre-planning. I work well with, with drawings and schedules and that type of thing. And uh, Dermot doesn't like, you know, so he's completely visual. Dermot Gavin projects are always exciting and all the planning in the world won't allow for the things that will be thrown at you within the, the build. He just likes to keep it loose. Yeah. But to be fair, <laughs> when you have a concept like this, you need to be able to get your head around it and how it's going to actually look in 3D rather than flat plan. We mark out this, the dimensions of this, try and get our heads around what's, what we're actually dealing with. Without giving too much away, this garden is going to be really big, it's going to be challenging. I'd say unlike any garden that has been done at Chelsea before. This is less of a garden and more of an experiment. It will demonstrate to people that gardens don't have to be conventional, they don't have to be rectangular with a um, little water feature and some paving. Urban gardening. So I think that's the idea. I think there's going to be some food on it as well, vegetables. That's besides you and me, like, <laughs> apart from us. You get no idea from the plan just what a 16 metre square is until you actually see it down on the sand. And this is a big, big area. It's much bigger than you'd imagine. I think we learned that it's going to be a large footprint, it's going to be complex, it's going to be difficult, and that when the chips are down, Dermot is nowhere to be found. Dermot! <laughs> Dermot! <laughs> There's no sign of him. Dermot! <laughs> I think the materials are going to be spectacular, and I think it's going to really work well on lots of levels. Now there's a hint.